Alright, alright, here we are. Uh, for vlog 3, this is BK of BK and Understanding, once again. Um, this one isn't, the first two vlogs went up pretty quickly, uh, in about a two day period. Uh, I can't promise I can maintain that, that's probably not going to be very consistent. Um, but I do want to try my best to keep at least two vlogs going up each week, worst case scenario one, and then here and there take time off as needed uh, from posting for a while. And uh, I don't know, we'll see how it grows. But right now, the possibilities and idea are limitless. <laughs> but the basic idea of the vlog, uh, once again, is just to uh, connect with you guys and let you guys learn more about me right now hopefully in time more about the band I want to have them on here too and us so and uh, just kind of build a community uh, around what BK and understanding is all about and uh, yeah and uh, as I've mentioned the pre previously in vlog one I do plan on starting another channel to talk about more uh, intense things that are important to me as an individual BK um, especially regarding faith, um, that'll be under the be uh, Beacon Kid moniker. Uh, mo not moniker. Moniker's not the word I'm looking for. That will be under the be Beacon Kid, um, and then I, I might even start another channel that uh, focuses on things not faith related, but I also think are vitally important and maybe more intellectual things because. Uh, I am very intellectual. I am. Um, that being said, um, today I just want to touch base and tell you about things going on. And uh, as of right now, we have some exciting news in that the next music video for this channel, Be Can Understanding, will be going up Friday, October 15th. Um, I set it to midnight presently. If that changes, I will update you. Um, so as soon as Thursday night turns into Friday morning at midnight. Uh, the video should be available, and that's on the uh, I think global, uh, whatever it's called, time time zone that YouTube defaults to. So it may not be. It may be before midnight where you live. It may be a little bit after. I think where I live, it technically said 5 a.m. and that mor that morning. We'll see. But anyway, uh, it's set to, at midnight uh, global whatever time, uh, for uh, Friday, October 15th. Anyway, um, I'm excited about that. We also have, uh, I've made a single uh, to accompany it uh, for Naylor Irby Game Love, uh, featuring Cheyenne Mayo. And uh, I put the full uh, single, which has five tracks on it, so it's kind of like an EP, but they're all different versions of Naylor Irby, but it's up on our band camp, which again is the best way to support us, is by purchasing our music on Bandcamp. And, something I forgot to say during the first two vlogs, please subscribe to our channel. That also is a huge us. That's short term. Bandcamp, again, is the most beneficial to us. It gives us that helpful finan that financial help that we have to have in a capitalist system. <laughs> you know, it gives us that immediately as soon as you buy stuff from us there. Um, but long term also, YouTube, please subscribe to this channel. We cannot monetize the channel until we have at least a thousand subscribers. And at the time of this video, we're sitting at 35. Uh, so please help uh, subscribe to our channel, like the videos, um, watch as much into them as you can, because also YouTube has a minimum watched hours requirement that's pretty high right now. But I think if we can get up to a thousand subscribers, that will easily help us get to that limit. So, if you could at least just subscribe, um, it'd be awesome if you'd hit the notification bell and follow along if you're really into what we're saying. But at least, please subscribe. That really helps. Even if you just want to be helpful and you're not sure you want to follow that closely, to at least subscribe. But anyway, uh, Naylor Irby Game Love will be up October 15th. You can go ahead and go to our band camp and pre-order it. Um, I didn't know how to set it up to uh, immediately send it to you for pre-order. I might go check that again. We'll see. But worst case scenario, uh, I'll release it maybe the night before or something. Um, that way you can go ahead and start listening to the tracks. But the main single track with featuring Cheyenne is from Basil Keystones, our main album. So if you haven't bought that, please buy that. That's the album right now. That's our main album. Um, but I took that and I remixed and remastered it 
in a way that I'm a little more satisfied. So I wasn't happy with the... I w that's the wrong way to say it. There were some things I wish we had done a little bit different. And I say we, not just me or the other person, but we had done a little bit differently in that first mix. So I, I changed those up. Um, for example, I brought the bass up uh, once again and brought the vocals down a little bit so that they don't overpower uh, the mix at lower volumes. And uh, they're more consistent and like they, they fit in the mix better as the volumes increase. Um, it is a do-it-yourself project again, so I didn't compress every single file that's in there, so it has a more natural sound. It's not like what you're used to hearing on the radio. It sounds more like if you were to be in a in a you know like a small space with us and get to listen to us play the song with the intent of putting it on an album. That's what it. It's more like that kind of quality. Um, I think it's. It, I'm proud of it. I think it sounds great. But anyway. The version uh, that's on the single, the first track, is the one that will be featured in the music video as well. Um, but it is the same song that's on Basil Keystones with Cheyenne. I also did an acoustic mix of the song um, and added it to the single release. And then there's two in between those tracks uh, of just the band playing it. And one of those is a remix of uh, the version that appeared on... Uh, uh, beginning Kernels, the first album I released for BK and Understanding, and I remixed it, uh, muted a couple of instruments, and brought some other instruments up so you can hear some other things a little better that were in that first mix. Um, and just a, it's an alternate version of what appeared on Beginning Kernels, and I, I always intended to make that available. So that's on there, and then I added as a bonus track on Bandcamp only uh, a live track from my only performance during the pandemic of 2020, uh, the COVID-19 pandemic. So it's the only time I performed live last year. Um, and so I, I labeled it in parentheses, uh, I think, mask performance, uh, oh, masked COVID-19 performance or something, solo performance or something like that. But because you can kind of hear my voice is a little muffled because I was the only one, only musician at the show wearing a mask out of respect for people in the audience not wanting to spread COVID-19 and all that and following the CDC guidelines as best I could while also playing a show. And that being said, you know, I live in Texas, so Texas, it's, they're very anti-science. The only science they follow is a science that brings them innovation and allows them to make better, more money, like allows the people at the top to make more money. That's the kind of science they're behind. And I'll pick on them a second and point out what I mean by that. So, like, if you are a plumber, HVAC guy, or an electrician in Texas, you're all about innovation, like new tools, new industry, you know, things that are going to help you do your job better. So, in Texas, they're all about that kind of science. But science that tells them about problems in reality and that we need to change things, they're very resistant to it. And especially if it contradicts what they think or they claim they believe the Bible says and stuff like that. So, like, what you've seen recently on the abortion stuff going on. So, like, it, it's, it's weird. It's that weird thing. But anyway, uh, all that being said, I live in Texas, so we were able to go play during the pandemic, whereas other states weren't able to, maybe. But I did honor the CDC guidelines as much as I could at the time. And uh, I don't think, I think that was before vaccines were made available, too. So I was also wanted to think about my own safety as well. Anyway, all that being said, uh, Naylor Irby Game Love is uh, going to be up October 15th. Um, thank you for following along. I hope to do more stuff uh, pretty soon. And like I said, I just wanted to touch base with you today. Uh, it's uh, in the morning, and I'm at my house getting ready to do a lot of stuff. I'm, I'm always doing stuff, it seems like. I'm staying pretty busy. Um, and really hoping to grow Beacon Understanding and so that it will actually start uh, producing a vi uh, viable income for us and so that we can go out and do more stuff. Oh, hold on. Sorry. I, I live above a dog pound, basically, and my neighbor just came home, I think, for lunch or something and must have let her dogs out. She has, well, it's a couple, and they have four mid-sized dogs in what I think at five, eight hundred square. I don't remember how big these apartments are. These apartments are really small. 
and I have, you see here, a Westie in my apartment and one cat. And that's enough. And they have four mid-sized dogs. Anyway, holy terror. You just heard them in the background. Sorry for the barking. Hopefully it doesn't pierce your ears. Uh, if I, I don't know if I'll be able to cut that or not. But anyway, there's Lily in the background now. Lily, you want to say hello? Say hello. Lily's pretty cute. She's a sweetie. Anyway, I um, want to touch base on those things. Um, I also am hoping that one of these days I'll be able to go and shoot some uh, footage of me playing in like parks and stuff outside in these pretty nice days when it's actually not too hot here in Texas and get some footage of some of the parks in the Dallas-Fort Worth area that I've never been able to go, you know, sit down with the guitar in. Um, I also hope to get more stuff to improve uh, the vlog right now. Uh, as you could hear in the first two videos, I used uh, the the mic in the camera. I have a Canon uh, M50 Mark II, and one of the big criticisms of the camera is the built-in microphone, and that's why the audio quality was pretty poor in the first two vlogs. Um, today, I'm actually holding an old iPhone 6 Plus um, and using it. I'm going to try to use the audio I record in voice memo here for the video this time and hopefully it'll improve it because surprisingly iPhone cameras have excellent microphones in them. Um, you'd be surprised. And so I don't know why Canon can't put a, a good microphone in their stuff. But anyway, uh, all that being said, yeah, just touching base today. Um, we have a lot going on. There's a lot. Man, I just I wish I could talk about um, both good and bad as always. And you know, in life, no matter how good we get our circumstances or you know there's just always going to be struggles in this life and that's part of this life unfortunately that uh, you know we are to be perfected through our trials and struggles in this life so um, there's a lot going on in the world always I'd like to be able to talk this about those things more in the future and uh, I'd like to be able to encourage that's the main thing I'd like to do encourage people but I know part of that is being honest about uh, some of these hard truths and being critical of uh, especially things that are hypocritical and things that keep us in bondage and prevent us from changing into who we should be becoming. And uh, we'll talk more about those things um, on other vlogs and stuff. And also, um, last thing I think for today that I want to touch base on is to say I'm hoping soon to uh, have Tim Paul Rugg on this vlog. Um, he and his wife recently had uh, twins, so as soon as they're ready, I'd like to have Tim uh, on the vlog and talk to him. He is a, he drums for me and Beacon Understanding, and I do consider him part of the band, but his main band uh, has become Back Acres because they've had a lot more shows in the past couple of years, and they've done more collaborative work than we've been able to. Because uh, the previous three years, I lived over an hour away from Tim. Um, now I live about 30, 30 to 40 minutes from him because we're both in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Um, so really, the, it's 40 minutes not because of distance, but because of you know traffic and uh, stuff like that. But uh, now we live closer. And then I also hope to have JR, if he's willing to do it, on here at some point. He is very anti-camera, doesn't want to be in the music videos, all that stuff which is sad to me because I really want to have him. Like, he's my friend. He's part of this. He helped us launch Beacon Understanding, and I just want to have him featured in here because he's part of it, and I don't want him being left out just because of his own, you know, not wanting to be on, him being camera shy or whatever it is. And uh, I'd like to have him on here if he's willing to do it, talk to him. And I, I wish he'd be in a music video. So far, he's finagled his way out of being in every music video we've shot even though originally he did promise me he would do one so Jared, if you watch this you did say that and then you kind of reneged on that <laughs> anyway uh that being said and uh we do want to have kevin back kevin's a very close friend of mine has been for a long time and jr is a close friend of mine we have known him for a long time and tim has become a friend of mine uh not just because of drums but since we met. I just haven't known Tim as long as I have JR and Kevin. Um, and, and Tim's a little younger than we are. And, uh, man, I even I hope to have a lot of some of uh, my friends on. Also, maybe uh, Megan uh, Renee Wilson, who was featured in the Ivan the Terrible music video as the angel. 
she will be back in our area in the next month or so. And so hopefully she'll stop by and we can have an interview with her, talk about what's going on with her. So on the vlog, I do want to be able to have people on and do little interviews or talks or whatever. And uh, like I said, no specific format. But now I'm rambling. I'm rambling. Once again, I tend to do that once I start talking. You know, surprisingly, you're seeing me on this vlog. I'm a very quiet guy in person. Um, unless you get me in a one-on-one -on -one setting and I'm, you know, being introverted, actually, it makes me crave those more intimate discussions. So I'm quieter in groups. I don't like competing for attention. So, you know, here, one-on-one -on -one with the camera, I tend to ramble. No one's here to interrupt me, which is a pet peeve of mine because I am so introverted and quiet. I don't like being interrupted when I actually do speak because I don't speak that often. <laughs> anyway, all that being said, thank you for uh, watching. If you gotten this far, we appreciate you. I do love you, even if you disagree with me on things, you know, and I, again, referencing things in the first vlog, things that I will be talking about in the future. It doesn't mean I, you know, if we disagree, it doesn't mean I hate you. Um, sometimes you have to draw hard lines and build up, uh, what do you call it, uh, boundaries and barriers, and you have to recognize, though, you have to recognize those you can't take along with you on your life, and so that's what it's about, and I will be very, very uh, adamant and, uh, very blunt about those things as I talk about those things. But uh, if you're watching this, thank you so much. Appreciate you. Please subscribe to the channel. Uh, please like this video. If you watch this far into it, I take it you enjoyed it. Please like it. Um, and if you can spare some money, go to our band camp, purchase our music. That's financially the best way to support us at the moment. And always, you know, if you can afford to buy our music, that's always the best thing as a, as a band and musician. Um, Again, I've talked about streaming services. Most money you uh, pay on the subscription fees to them goes to the companies, not us, not us who make the music. Um, so please go to our band camp, and the link will be below to support us, and we appreciate it. And on October 15th, please look out for the Naylor Irby Game Love music video. It's going to be good. It's going to feature Cheyenne Mayo. It's going to feature Naylor and Irby, the people I wrote the song for. Anyway, thank you.